Hey everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. Today we'll be covering another topic in Salesforce, which is uh, Salesforce Setup Audit Trial. Here is the agenda for today's session. We will be covering what is an audit trial, what is the purpose of the audit trial, and then we'll also uh, check various changes that can be tracked using the audit trial, and then we'll get into our demo. So now let us understand what is an audit trial. Audit trial is mainly used to track recent setup changes made to our organization. So this can be mainly used for debugging purpose. You can use it for troubleshooting, which helps our system admin to know to know who has done a change, what was the change done, um, and at what specific time the change was done. So these are certain things which can be uh, known with the help of the setup audit trial. So the setup audit trial history shows around 20 recent changes that was done to your organization. Uh, and if you want to download the setup audit trial for the past 180 days, you can do that as well. So uh, for the past 180 days, what and all are the changes that were made to the organization will be captured in the download uh, setup audit trial history. Now let us take a scenario or a use case. Um, you are working for an organization having multiple system admins or super permission users who can perform a lot of admin related uh, changes. For example, the admins can go do a lot of changes, right? They can go ahead and change the profile, change the role. They can go ahead and create um, a permission set. They can add users to the queue. They can um, add users to the public group, modify the escalation rules, add objects, a lot of different stuff that can be done by the system admin. So, and as a part of this, in the organization, you have defined various profiles uh, based upon the business name. They could be some seven around seven to eight or seven to ten profiles that you have defined according to your business use case. Uh, suddenly, what has happened? One of the users is reaching out to you, saying that he is not able to perform certain actions that he was able to perform earlier. And that specific user reaches out to you because you are the system admin and you are you should be in a position to. Uh, debug the issue, troubleshoot it and uh, resolve the issue for that specific user. What is that you are going to do? That is where this audit, audit trial will help you out to understand what was the change done, who has done the specific change, when was the specific change done. So as a first step, as a troubleshooter, uh, what do you do? You log into that specific user uh, page and understand or check what was the change done. And you can see that the specific profile has been changed um, from X to Y. So that make you understand that, okay, there is a change done. Now, in order to know who has made that change, this setup audit trial will help you to know who has done the change, what time the change was done, and what is that change related to. So these are things that can be identified using the setup audit trial. So being a small tool, uh, it is very it plays a very key role um, uh, which will help our Salesforce admin or a developer to debug um, any issues related to um, various uh, components which are um, provide, which are there in our organization. So now let us understand what all setup audit trial can track the changes. So these and all other different components or sections uh, there. Uh, you can uh, track the changes. It could be some ad administration, it could be profile section, you have permission sets and group, customization, security and sh sharing, data management, development, various setups related uh, changes if you are doing that can be tracked using the setup audit trial. And if you are using the application, those are the changes also can be tracked using the setup audit trial. If you get into the details uh, about all of these different sections in the administration, these are all of the different components that can be tracked uh, using the setup audit trial. If you're making any changes to the company information, if you're making changes to the users, emails, deliverabilities, domain names, DKIM, all of these changes can be tracked under the setup audit trial. If you're making any changes to the multiple currency, it will, uh, if you go to the setup audit trial, it will let you know that what was changed, what time it was changed and who has changed that specific, uh, who done, who has made that specific change. Likewise, under the profile section, these are all of the various components that can be tracked for the, uh, you can track the changes for the audit trial. And you see your profile layout changes, a lot of different um, components can be tracked for, uh, tracked uh, for the audit, uh, setup audit trial changes. Likewise, you have permission sets, 
if you're making any creating a new permission set you're cloning a permission set and by mistake imagine that you went ahead and deleted a permission set right that is also something which can be tracked using the setup audit trial you can go to the setup audit trial download uh, the setup audit trial um, csv file there you will know that who has deleted the permission set at what time the permission set was deleted um, and a lot of other informations can be found out in that download file customization is also one other section wherein these and all of the different components that can be tracked validation tools chat or emails notification field tracking in the fields security and uh, sharing if you are making any changes to the password policies uh, lightning login you know likewise these and these are various components you can track making any changes to the saml salesforce certificates data management if you are doing any mass delete that can be also tracked if you are using mass transfer use you can track uh, the changes in the setup audit trial development if you are creating a new apex class or making certain modifications to the apex class triggers visual force pages lightning uh, components all these development related components can be tracked in the audit trial likewise various setup using the application so now let us get into the uh, demo and um, understand the specific use case that we discuss. So what we will do is we'll log in into our Salesforce DevOps. So here I have already logged in to my Salesforce DevOps. So from the home on the left hand side under the quick find box, type in setup audit trial. Yeah, you see under the security, you see this view setup audit trial. When you click on this, here it will show uh, whatever the page when you open, it will list down last 20 entries of your organization. All the um, entries will be listed down. That is the most recent 20 entries will be listed down. If you want to download the six months uh, data, that is something which you can download here. You see here, download setup audit trial for the last six months. If you download it, all those informations, you can be able to view it. So now let's do a small change, okay? What we'll do is let's go, let's, I have already opened up a duplicate tab. Let's go to the users. We have the specific user, right? Here you see the profile is standard user, role is CFO. Let's try to make this change. We will change the profile to system admin and we will make the role as CEO and verify whether those changes are getting reflected in our setup audit trial or not. When you click on refresh, because that is a recent change that we did it, right? So that is something which you will be able to view it over here. Now you see here, it clearly tells me that you made the change at this time, who has made the change, what was the action that was performed and under which specific section. If any delegated user has been it has done the change that will also be showing up over here it clearly says that the role of so and so has been changed from x to y the permission profile is also changed from x to y now if at all you are also let's take another example let's go to the object manager and what we'll do is we'll try to create a simple field for our account object let's try to create a new field here when I try to, here I'm trying to create a new field with the data type as text area rich. And let's give it as demo one. Okay. And click on next. So here rest all remains the same default and click on save. Now let's go back to the setup body trial. Here also you will be able to view those changes that that way done here you see this user has created the custom field with the data type as rich text area under the section call as a customized account and there was also changes related to the layouts all those informations will be displayed under the view setup audit trial so that is how you debug uh, the issue which will help with the help of the audit trial likewise uh, whatever we have described in our slide deck right uh, like various setup these are all the different components that can be tracked you with the for the setup audit trial so hope you are able to understand what is the setup audit trial and uh, what it can be used for 
that is that's all we have for today's session we will plan for another topic soon until then please do take care of yourself um, and uh, please do continue to like share and subscribe our channel sfdc one stop uh, signing off namrata kadiyala take care bye bye